So man, Ted Politics back again. And Mikey Williams just really fucked up. And he really fucked up the major way. And I'm talking about the like a lot of the niggas from where I'm from way of fucking up. Like great basketball players. But then nothing with the basketball after getting too involved in wanting to be rappers or was too interested in what rappers had going on. Now, some of the boys I know became rappers and whatnot, and they actually doing pretty good for themselves as rappers, so shout out to them. But for the ones that didn't do shit after the basketball ended, meaning like getting a job is doing something. Getting a career is doing something, but when I mean like not doing nothing, when I mean not doing nothing, I mean like they ain't doing nothing. That's what I mean by nothing. I mean like really nothing. Because they could just, man, he messed his career up. He messed it all the way up. And we can't see how he did that right now. Mikey Williams, Mikey Williams, Michael Williams has gained a massive following online before deactivating his Instagram. He had nearly 4 million followers. Williams is now facing criminal charges, including five counts of assault with a deadly weapon. Even signed an endorsement deal with Puma. San Diego County deputies arrested. Let me say this. I know for a fact NBA young boy his favorite rapper. Mikey Williams has just been arrested. The 18-year-old basketball prodigy has recently hit the news for all the wrong reasons after getting hit with multiple felony charges that include assaulting another person with a firearm. Let's take a look into this entire situation and get you up to speed on what's going on. Williams charged with five felonies. Mikey Williams was just hit with massively serious charges. The basketball player was just arrested this past week in California after being hit with five charges of assault with a deadly weapon. It was reported that Williams has since paid a $50,000 bond and has been released, though this story is simply just getting started. Williams was accused of violating a specific code in California law that regards a person assaulting another person with a firearm, and this can be classified as either a misdemeanor or a felony. If convicted, the charge can carry a maximum sentence of up to four years in prison. It was also reported that four of these five charges could potentially be dropped, though that doesn't completely negate the penalties that are likely to follow. Even with four charges being dropped, there could be an exception that he'll face a minimum of six months due to just the one charge. The police department has released its reports, which claim that there is truly one major... Hey, I'm going to say this too. <clears throat> See how good he is. But you notice how a lot of basketball players got like that that grit about them, but then you got the Kawhi Leonard's, the Kobe's, the Michael Jordan's. You know what I'm saying? They they chilling. You feel me? Ain't nothing. Major charge faced by Williams. Charge involved an incident where one individual fired multiple shots at a vehicle that was being occupied by five people. Allegedly. This came a few weeks after an argument was reported to have taken place, and multiple people were asked to leave the house. The official report states five people got into a car, and as they were driving away, what if you could do SEO? Boy, this don't sound good. That's not sound good at all. but no one was hurt. They went on to state that there were multiple minors that were in the car and that no public booking photos of William is said to be released to the public until there's an immediate threat to public safety according to their words. Okay. Massive consequences on the way. Mikey Williams had previously committed to Memphis to play basketball under coach Penny Hardaway. He was preparing to enter his freshman year, but these charges threw every... He was about to get to play for Penny, bro. ...thing off course. Some reports claim that Hardaway and Memphis have pulled the full scholarship away from Williams since they heard about the charges at oh, Florida, no, no. which would be a massive blow to him moving forward. On top of that, Williams might be forced to miss his entire... If he ain't in trouble, eligible to play, Penny, please let that boy play. ...freshman year of college basketball due to being ineligible. 
The NCAA has strict rules regarding whether or not an incoming freshman receives a misdemeanor or felony charge, and if they can continue to play that upcoming year. In the case of Memphis, in particular, their student code reads, University disciplinary proceedings may be instituted against a student and or student organization charged with conduct that potentially violates both criminal law and the student code without regard to the pendency of civil or criminal litigation or criminal arrest and or prosecution. When a student is charged by federal, state, or local authorities with a violation of law, the university will not request or agree to special consideration for that individual because of their status as a student. We're going to have to just wait and see how this entire situation mm -hmm. plays out, but it doesn't look and otherwise he on his own. good for his potential to play basketball this upcoming season. Not to mention that it was one of the most important seasons yet, finally making that leap into the college scene. But the problems don't stop there. Since news broke of his arrest, Williams has lost approximately 4 million followers on Instagram. He also decided to deactivate his Instagram account until further notice because of the backlash that he was receiving. On top of that, Williams lost more than 2 million followers on TikTok and could be preparing to deactivate his Twitter account as well due to a significant loss there also. Public image matters a lot in this day and age, and Williams has lost an awful lot of followers and supporters over what happened. But then, finally, we have to talk about the partnerships he might be losing out on. Williams aimed to deal with Excel Sports Management in July of 2021 at the age of 17. The deal was made so that Excel Sports Management would be able to use his brand, image, and name to further pursue endorsement opportunities. Lab like, what the fuck is he gonna do now? He really fucked himself, bro. Last year, Williams signed. If he did what they saying he did, we don't know if he really did in time. Had another deal. This one coming with Puma. He became the youngest American high school basketball player to sign a sneaker deal with a global footwear company. Both this deal and the deal with Excel Sports Management are in jeopardy now with these charges coming to light. These companies heavily value public perception and social media. Man, who his daddy is, man? We can't even blame no child, bro. You gotta blame his motherfucking daddy and his mama. Whoever in charge of his, whoever the fuck his guardian is, that's who we need to be talking to. Influence. Right now, Williams is losing both of those rapidly. You can finna go to jail, bro. It's a shame that this entire situation has happened because his basketball future couldn't be any brighter. He was one of four guards that signed to play with Memphis this past season, there. a Memphis team that was coming off a very successful yeah, campaign last off. year. <laughs> Coach Hardaway took them to a 26-9 overall record before losing in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Williams was expected to step in and build upon their success to hopefully help them win an NCAA title, but those chances of playing have dropped significantly. Look who they saw in Ja. <laughs> On top of that, Williams was coming off one of his best years ever in high school. In fact, he was dominant throughout his four years at San Isidro High School in San Diego. He was averaging 29.9 points, 6.7 rebounds, and 4.9 assists per game throughout his time there. He was awarded a Max Preps National Freshman of the Year award and helped the school win a Division III championship just to top off his accolades. That wasn't all, though. Williams had one of his greatest games ever against Kearney High School at the end of 2020. He dropped a ridiculous 77 points in a 116-52 victory against them to break the single-game scoring record in the CIF SDS. It was a scoring record that had been held by Tyrone Shelley since 2005. Now, obviously, these records and performances had scouts thinking about his future in the big leagues. One recruiting scout at 24-7 Sports named Eric Bosey submitted a scouting report on him in January 2022. Bosey said that of the college recruiting analysis that he spoke to, 50% of them have faith that Williams has a future in the NBA at some point. Bosey also stated in his own view, mentioning a strong and compact combo guard, Williams is an offensive-minded player who runs off the dribble and a lot of money. He's a great player, y'all. If you want to be on the camera, camera, you want to be behind the camera. He threw it over, bro. Real shit. Over. Before even getting into college. One website that tracks student athletes and their name, image, and likeness, on top of other deals that they sign, approximates that will. Alright, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Yo, y'all let me know what y'all think. Hopefully, this man ain't in trouble for real. Hopefully, all this shit is a lie. A hoax or some shit, you know what I'm saying? Cause this is, this sucks. This really fucking sucks. 
Like, it's over if, if that's the case for him. And that sucks, man. I would say we need to get more details and find out what happened and then see if he innocent. Because if he innocent, like that man, like that man play basketball. I think he should get played after all. If he innocent, man, I ain't the judge. All I know is that's crazy. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, subscribe, comment, share. We out.